Guys, I think it's time I'm honest with you. Um, I don't really know how to say this, but I, I, it really isn't a secret that me and my relationship with CSGO has kind of been on the rocks lately. And uh, we've been through a lot together, and I, I get that, but I honestly do think it's time that I take some space. Now, I really don't even want to get into the details, and to be honest, I'm not sure if I'm even like mentally prepared to face all of that yet, but you guys need to understand that it's for the best. Also, I came home last week, and I walked into my bedroom expecting to find my computer nice and set up, ready to play some CSGO, and what I found was Gabe Newell with his dick in another man's disk drive, and you just don't do that to somebody, okay, Gabe? You, you just don't. Anyways, guys. I've taken the liberty of searching through the internet for a different game that's like CSGO that can fill the void that was left in my heart by the betrayal from Gabe Newell, and uh, I'm kind of disappointed. This is the world's worst CSGO clones. That is so much better. The character models in this game are like what Minecraft YouTubers use for their AVIs. This is like, fantastic. They even have a crate system, apparently. You can get a Klon helmet, dude. All you gotta do is find it in a $1 crate, dude. The part that I find the funniest is like, this is clearly like a clone from Star Wars, and this is clearly a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle with, with a clone helmet on for some reason. And they just have like generic names, but then there's also the Joker and Deadpool, which are like licensed characters. So I don't, I don't know how they're getting away with that. Anyways, if the gameplay is half as dope as the character models, we're in for a good time. <laughs> I'm gonna break this tree, dude. I'm gonna get some wood and I'm gonna build a fort. Check this out. It actually worked, dude. Holy shit. This game is easy, dude. Oh, shit. There really isn't much to be said about Kaboom. It's a free-to-play game, it's full of Russians, and the gameplay is absolutely horrible. It literally took me 20 minutes to realize that I could actually aim down sights. Literally in the recording, you can see me figure out that you can aim down sights and be like blown away by it. Another day, another dollar. Whoa. Wait, what? The fuck was that? What? Oh my, oh my, f are you serious? I could literally aim down sights the entire time. Are you actually kidding me? All right, this game's about to change for me. I'm about to get like 40 kills. One of the biggest problems I had in Kaboom for the short time that I played it was that I would constantly spawn next to enemy players, and most of those people were Russian children who had actually put real money into the game, so they were able to buy the much more powerful assault rifles while I was stuck with a shitty double barrel shotgun or a shitty MP5. Even if I was dumb enough to throw money at this game, it definitely wouldn't be worth it because the gun mechanics are so bad anyways, even if I had an AK-47 in my hand, I'd still probably get melted by 12 year olds from Russia. Honestly, I'm finally starting to get the hang of this game, and it feels kind of good, dude. I'm finally beating up these 12-year-old kids in Minecraft Counter-Strike. Alright, that's cool. Now, I know I didn't show much of the gameplay of this game, and uh, trust me when I say you're really not missing much, there really wasn't much else to this game except finding out you could aim down sights and getting killed by Russian kids, so we're gonna move on. Also, there was this weird, like, Walmart version of Dust 2 that I'm playing on now, and it has, like, a whole midsection with crates in it that we've never seen before, so shout out to them for the ingenuity. My final verdict? Two dirt blocks out of ten. Don't play this game. Right off the bat, I'm already beside myself how terrible this player model looks, dude. What is that? Dude looks like he belongs in the drowning music video. Minecraft, 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 Minecraft. I'm just mining. All right, so you can actually aim down sights in this game. That's good. Let's see what this thing can do. Wait, he's not dead? What? Where'd he go? <laughs> Are you serious? What is this guy ma- Are you actually- Is this real? Is this real life? Through my various encounters with enemies in this game, the gunplay is absolutely gross. The guns don't pack any punch at all, and to be completely honest, you're literally better off using a pistol or a knife than an SMG. As you're seeing, I shot this guy probably six or seven times, and I still got an assist because he got knifed in the back, so that just kind of goes to show how weak the SMGs are in this game.
Ooh, they got an AWP, just like Counter-Strike. Let's see what we can do with this. Did I hit him? Move. Is this dude actually serious right now? Guys, I'm not even kidding when I say that the other game, Kaboom, is honestly a better polished turd than this piece of trash. The SMGs are like pea shooters. The assault rifles tear through you in two bullets, which would be great if the guns actually worked. And the sniper rifles, they're the most expensive things in the game, forget about it. They are impossible to use. I literally found a guy standing still when I had an AWP. I shot him in the face literally like five times before he died. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that the sniper rifles are just as bad as the SMGs, and that's a problem. All right, can we just take a minute to like appreciate the design of this room? It's like the whole map has shading and the whole map has textures, but they just, they forgot about this building. Like, what the hell is this? Everything is the exact same color. Like, look at the rest of the map is good. So why is this one room just not textured? Way to go. While War Mode is much more in tune with CSGO's roots than Kaboom was, it's definitely not a good game by any means. And just by the fact that I have to keep referring back to the title screen, just to remember the name of this game, really says something about its character. After two rounds of this game, I honestly found myself so bored with the menial combat that I found myself running around just knifing people, because it was honestly easier and more satisfying to get kills in that manner than it was to shoot people with overpowered assault rifles or get slain for having any kind of other gun. My final score? Eight hot dog vendors out of 20. Meh. Thank you.